Got them do hope you guys are all doing well welcome back to the channel in this week's video we're gonna be in Houston Dill visiting the in-laws while I'm there I'm gonna be meeting up with my friend Bloody he's a Houston Dill photographer he's gonna be doing a walk around and slash commission work he needs to be photographing some some infrastructure and I'm gonna be tagging along just for the experience and also I'm gonna be just doing a sunrise I haven't done that in years and I'm gonna be shooting everything on the like a QP I want to be straightforward with you guys i did use the a7i3 for some shots three shots to be specific just because i needed the extra focal length and i'm gonna be showing you guys those three shots in the video let's go into the voiceover and hope you guys enjoyed today's video hey start this voiceover by saying that this has been the best time I've had in a while. I don't know what about this sunrise mission made it so special but it was a very calm experience. I met up with Blady because he was going to do some photos for some building as part of a commission work. This entire session was shot on the Leica QP. You guys already know that this camera has been my ride or die camera. It was nice seeing Jana. Is Jana afraid of speaking English? Sure. Yeah. People who are like a fan like to advocate how ridiculous good are the colors come from the like cameras. I want to say that they are not hype and I do believe that this is an amazing color that you get from the camera. What made this a very peaceful session was that there was no parents in law, there was no wife, there was no only child. me, yes, I it know. was just me and the camera being creative. A peaceful moment that boosted my creativity. Nowadays I barely have any time to do anything by myself. So when I get moments oh, like these, there is a reflection here. I make sure that they're golden and I take advantage of it. Oh, I've been coming to Houston Deal now for seven years and I have never seen it been awesome. lit up this way. I say that sunrise and quiet streets Thank add you. to the mystery of the experience. I love the colors that I was able to capture thanks to the soft light of the sunrise, shining down on the old buildings and houses. Due to being so early in the morning, I barely saw anyone outside. During the morning session, I was focusing on including the light and letting it highlight the scene to my liking. As the morning progressed, the light got harsher, but that didn't stop me. Instead, I used the light to my advantage to call the attention to the subject or building that was in the scene. Like I said in the beginning of the video, I also ended up using my Sony camera for like three shots of the entire session because I needed the extra focal to reach uh, the scene. Unfortunately, the Leica QP is stuck at 28 millimeter, and I don't think it will have worked for these specific scenes using the QP. This is why I use the Sony. But at the end of the day, I still prefer using the QP oh. for a majority of my work. I did today pinpointing where I'm focusing on, on. the image like to give a better of, idea. You know, I take this, this one from of the Roman Fox, who is a street photographer from yes. London. He does the same thing, and I think it's very creative. I really had a great time uh, with Vladi. I want to thank him for giving me opportunity to just oh, this tag along. And if you want this to see Vladi's line. channel, he actually posted up his um, version of the video, and it's going to be tagged it. on in the description oh, cool. below. Check him out. Show me some support. He, Good morning. Good morning. 
Whole I know. Isn't it? So much better. Not barber funny. Shop. Is the barbershop? I think so. Yeah, it is, it is. It says barbershop, right? My journey experience from this morning has led me to think about the possibility of making the switch to Leica. Selling all my Sony lenses and camera to transition over to the SL2S and a 24-70mm lens, using the Leica QP as my one of my prime lenses. So the reason I would like to own a Leica SL2S is because I want to have the same color science all throughout my, my work. I feel that shooting with the Sony, which is I think has more contrast than the Leica QP, to my eyes is more pleasing when I look my images through the Leica. And you could do all type of editing and you could say, oh, but you could find editing techniques on YouTube. Yes, true, but it will, it will never be the same. I barely am using the, the Sony to do any type of photography gig or yeah, any taking photos. I'm more mostly using now either my film cameras and definitely my Leica QP just because it's easy to use and easy to travel. I love the colors I'm getting, the color rendition I'm getting from the camera. But then I think this is my opinion, this is what I want for my work. I'm still making my decision. Maybe next time I go to the States, I will pull off the trigger, sell off, sell off all my Sony cameras and gear, and I'm saying maybe I like a SL2S with a like a lens. Comment down below what you, what you think is best. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you do, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and leave a comment below.